Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. Today we have some big plans, and when I say big, I mean big. If you guys haven't noticed, we love building big contraptions, but also we love dropping things from that. If you guys haven't watched recently, we had an aircraft called the Sky Van, where we dropped watermelons, we dropped RC cars, before it finally met its demise by playing past the transmitter with our good friends from Ready Made RC. Now we don't want to have our shop empty too long without an awesome heavy lift airplane, so we're going to build another one today. So recently I've been feeling pretty nostalgic, and we decided to go back in time to some of the early days of flight test and resurrect the model, but supersize it. So in the early days of flight test, there was an amazing movie we reached into for inspiration and that was Disney planes. So we built Dusty Crowd Popper, we built the racer, we had the fire bomber, but we also had probably one of my all-time favorite planes and that was Cabby. Now Cabby was a flying box car and it was also one of the biggest planes we ever made back in that day of a whopping 86 inches. But now we have monster motors, we have monster foam. I got the files here, we're gonna build something epic and huge. So a big thing that we're doing different on this project than many others is we're using our thick monster maker foam and we're also using our thinner normal size foam and we're doing doublers. This adds a tremendous amount of strength without a lot of weight and we're using Super 77 here to laminate them together rather than just spraying hot glue where we're only putting adhesion where the hot glue touches. The Super 77 gives a nice light thin film but it's also incredibly strong. Laminating these pieces ahead of time makes also the build go easy because now when we sheet the outer side it doesn't crush down or wrinkle you can push a hard against the doubler, you have more glue surface and a stronger joint. You're gonna notice that I actually built the fuselage in two pieces and there's a really good reason for that. We wanna make this airplane able to be transported. I want a forever plane. Uh, oftentimes we build these crazy big projects and they're just for a proof of concept or just inspire. Uh, in this case, I wanna be able to pull this plane out anytime needed, take it out maybe on a Thursday or Friday night family night here at Edgewater when people are around. Big part of that is being able to be transported. If we made this plane, just the fuselage alone is over six feet long, not counting the eight foot booms going on the back end. We gotta have a way to break it down so we can safely transport it. So my goal is to have a two-piece fuselage, have the wings removed, so ultimately at the end of the day, if I do my job right, we could even put it into a, a pickup truck and transport it and set it up and have a huge monstrous airplane that lasts a long time. Uh, for you guys, especially with the maker foam and the monster thickness foam with our monster motors, I wanna make sure we show you guys techniques on how to make these planes last a long time and look great through the whole entire lifespan of the airplane. Big thanks to today's sponsor, NordVPN. If you don't know where the VPN is, it's a service that encrypts your internet traffic and protects your online identity. The biggest thing that I like about NordVPN is that it prevents your internet service provider from logging your data or throttling your bandwidth. The way this works is when you connect to the internet through NordVPN, it connects you through one of their 5500 super fast servers that are hosted in 60 countries. And what this does is it puts a wrapper around your internet connection so that you can't be tracked and you can't be throttled. Many sites such as YouTube and Netflix will actually log your location and they'll show you only certain kinds of content based on where you're accessing the internet. NordVPN changes that and makes it so that you can access more content options. And it even works in China. With your subscription, you can have up to six simultaneous connections and you can do it even while traveling so that when you're in public at an airport or a coffee shop using a public connection, you're still secure. They have a 30 day money back guarantee and they have 24 seven customer support. So if you have a question, you can use their live chat or even email them. As an added bonus, NordVPN also works as an ad blocker. NordVPN was selected as the best VPN in 2019 from VPN Mentor, and they're the only VPN to get all the green checks from PC Mag. Now we have a special offer for you that gets you 70% off of your subscription, which makes it $3.49 a month. And by clicking the link below and using our coupon code flight test, you will also get a month for free. So it's a huge thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video and making this project come to life. And it's sponsors like this that make this kind of content and future content 
possible. All right, so our fuselage is now done here. The most challenging part of this build was actually molding the front nose here. And there's a good reason. Typically when we mold foam on a monster sized airplane, we use the thinner normal thickness foam rather than the thick. But what we learned on our sky van was it just simply wasn't durable enough and we had a lot of issues. So I went ahead and I used the thick foam and not everything fits perfectly. So we had a lot of fit issues up in the front nose. I'm not too worried about that because if you guys remember in the movie Planes, Cabby had a pretty funny expression on his face. So I actually made this in two pieces and I'm going to work with that little fold that you see here, that little imperfection, and I'm going to try to turn that into his mouth. So we can adjust that later, we can fill that in, we can sand it, we can paint over it. I'm not too worried. So the fuselage is now done. Our next step is we're going to be working on the booms. But we have a very limited supply of the last of our maker foam before our next batch comes in where both us and you guys can use that for projects. I'm down to about seven sheets left. So I went ahead and we nested these up. We got the booms cut out. These things are absolutely massive. First boom is done here. And one big thing, if you guys have noticed in some of our monster series in the past, glue joints don't always hold. Specifically like the B-52, if you notice we're doing a lot of field repairs, a real easy way to get around that is when you're building this stuff now, rather than just having a glue joint on the inside, line it with a piece of tape. When you line it with a piece of tape, what that does is it makes a solid joint on the inside and also the outside, and it'll never fall apart like we oftentimes you see when it gets really hot outside and we're painting something. From now on, moving forward, we're gonna always reinforce on the inside and the outside. That's how the battleship held together so well. And it's also how you can get a tremendous amount of strength without a lot of weight. So we got basically the fuselage done over there and I've been putting off the most intimidating part because we don't want to just make one solid wing, which would be far easier. We want to make this a uh, three-piece wing. The center section will hold the booms and then the outer wing tips will plug in, kind of like how we did on the sea deck. You can see I, this is my scratch panel. This is kind of how when we design, I take elements and pieces and enlarge them and shrink them. But right here is the center section and that goes into the booms. So I got my, my side view here of the flying box car. Overall length is 115 inches on this. I want to be able to take this piece here and make it by itself. So we have just around 40 inches and 28 inches deep. The cool thing is our foam is 30 by 40. So I should be able to cut this out in one piece, which means structurally it's gonna be far stronger. All right, so the fuselage and the booms are done and they are huge, but one thing that's gonna be a lot bigger is the wings, and we're gonna get started on those right now. So one thing that we just love about Cabby is it's loosely based off of the C-119 flying box car. This thing is literally a flying box car, a box car with wings. One thing that makes it so unique is it's really cool looking wings. It has polyhedral where the wings dip down and dip back up, and the booms are supported from the wings as well. All those different brakes give it a really cool aerodynamic feel, but at the same time, it can make it structurally weak. Because this is all self-supporting, we gotta use wood reinforcement inside the wing. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. That way this plane will be able to lift a lot, but also it won't need those outside struts that'll take away from its scale appearance. So the wings are done, the fuselage is now done. It's now time for the power system and electronics here. If you guys haven't noticed lately, we've been working with a couple prototype motors and we now have an official pack called the Monster Pack. So the Monster Pack is really cool because you can dream big and you can build big. So we're gonna be using the Monster Pack and a matter of fact, you guys can too because they're now officially available on the store. One thing that's really cool that we're gonna be setting up is something called differential thrust. You've heard us use that term a lot. That's where we actually use the RPMs of the different motors to give us the yaw function. The really cool thing about this is I don't actually have to put servos and rudder controls on the back a cabbie. I can do that all through the motor so even when I'm going downwind I still have the same yaw control as before. So the power system is now done. We're going to go ahead and put our attention towards the servos. I had no clue where all my extensions went. I was looking all around the shop but then I remember we built a lot of really big stuff. Thank goodness we have a big flying boat hanging up above us. I can grab them right out of these. One of the really cool things about the hobby specifically right now is you can use the same set of electronics to grow as a pilot, but also if you wreck one airplane and want a different experience, oftentimes you can recycle those into a whole new experience, a whole new project, and relive and reuse those components. Back when I first saw Planes Fire and Rescue, I actually saw it with my kids at a drive-in movie theater and it was incredible. So it'd be fitting here to finish off Cabby, actually do it with my son, except now he's almost an adult. So now you ready to get to work? I'm ready. Let's do it. So oftentimes you guys may see us mounting things like the power pod with barbecue skewers. We're gonna do the same concept on Cabby here, but we're gonna be using carbon fiber dowels along with doublers made out of plywood to make sure it lasts a long time. Along with that, I went ahead and made a shelf on the front section so we can mount our batteries as far forward as possible to get the CG right. That way we can easily mount our batteries and get the CG done at the same time. All right friends, so the plane is done. We're already taking it out to fly it. 
one really cool thing happened. My son actually came in and helped me finish it off and this is really special to me because the plane's journey happened very early in the flight test days but also when my kids were much younger, about seven years ago. My kids were involved with that plane just as my son was involved helping me finish this off. So one thing oftentimes we say is we make memories through flight. We got to make a really special one here and kind of cap off a really cool experience. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get this out the door, take it up for its maiden flight. Hopefully everything will go good. I'm super sentimental right now because last time we flew a similar version of this, it was one of the most amazing memories we've ever had. Beautiful air, beautiful flying, and we're kind of blessed with the same weather right now, so but hopefully it'll get off the ground. So the, yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be fun because it's a cool plane, no, no questioning that, but uh, I remember how well it flew and how quickly Josh was able to get comfortable with it. And so I think it's gonna be successful at flying. The success of the flight is going to be determined of what I'm able to talk Josh into doing while he's up in the air. But that being said, I think it's gonna go well. I think Josh is gonna do great. This is a cool setup because it's running the four cell battery with big props. So the propellers spin a little bit slower than normal, our typical six cell setups, and it gives it like a really cool sound and it's just like low and slow, which is my style so I think it's good I'm, I give it a 95% chance of success when you got Jay Bix on the sticks you, you don't got much to worry about all right so it's, it's ready board runway and normally we go this way but the winds coming this way I don't have wheels on I think I'm just gonna just yeah try it Gabby don't care all righty you ready let me get in the air good to go all right up down left right here we go go little plane oh it's a scale take oh my god wow <laughs> That was very graceful, dude. How's it feel? I want to do sketchy things. It looks like uh, you don't have endless amounts of power. No, she she definitely is probably gonna need to go six off. We're gonna lift anything heavy, but it is menacingly slow, and that's what you want. <laughs> it's you so look, slow. Let's mess with some golfers. It looks like a real uh, like it's the perfect speed. This is ridiculous. Perfect looks scale beautiful. speed. Look at this is ridiculous. That's got way bigger of a presence than the Sky Van did. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Now I just want to blow up Dusty and all the other ones. Look at this. I'm jealous of Matt she's, getting to chase it. She's Dude, flying it a half amazing. throttle, no problem. Just a touch of up trim. On four cell. On four cell. That's on 10,000 awesome. milliamps of four cell fun. I love the sound of the Look at lower this. RPM motors with the big props. <laughs> it's so cool. It kind of sounds Daddy, like... I feel like you're going to go inside the cockpit. <laughs> I'm pretty close. I'm sure I can go inside if I tried. It's funny because between half throttle where it's cruising and full throttle, it's like, the, remember the tank? Yeah. It's just like that. I'm looking right at, through the rear hatch and I can see out his face. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Dude, why don't you bring it in for a low pass? All right. I want to see. Just remind me, I don't climb very well. Look at how draggy it is. It has like brakes, it looks like, coming down. I'm going to practice the gap. You're hitting the gap? I'm going to shoot that gap. Go Jeez. for it. Go for it. There's the gap, right? Did I get the gap? Yeah. Almost hit the left tr the tree on the left, but you're good. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. If the wings stay on this, we're going to be doing some lots of cool things with this. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. All right. Let's How much climb rate do you have? That was pretty much <laughs> <laughs> Not much. Here, uh, let's see. It's let's like see. a... Dude, they have a they have a lot of pull. They don't have a lot of top speed, but I mean, like it's just motoring up into the air like an escalator. Yeah, I think we do need to go responsible and go six L on this next one. But she's doing good. That's really cool, man. What a great, oh great Edgewater uh, utility aircraft. Yeah, we will be able to pull this out when people visit and do really sketchy, weird things. Like try wing over. The slowest <laughs> wing over ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, do you think she'll do a roll? No, I don't think. I bet it would. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> All right, so something weird is going on though. I'm noticing that my power is not the best. Oh, so dang. It could be that I'm just not getting the speed that we need, or it could be that Four cells not enough. it doesn't have the static thrust that we need. Where are you there. going, man? You're on a long I wanna, I wanna thread that needle. I love, I love every Thursday night, man. This is what I do. Dang. Take it way out over the wild blue over there. Just thread that. Look at that thing coming in. That's this crazy. Is, this is my line, man. This is my line. Oh, precision control, dude. Thermal. Oh, that looks so cool. Wow. Wow. 
<laughs> Dang. So when it got closer, it was it actually was going faster than it looked. It did. It did. Were you cooking pretty good? Or? Uh, I was about half speed. It wasn't too fast. It wasn't yeah. too fast. But the approach, when it's like here in front of you, it was yeah. like, oh wow, it's actually moving. It's a big oh. thing moving. Yeah. So, Let's go see how the yeah. motors are doing. You want to be the guy that touches it? <sighs> oh, you scared me. They're warm, but not bad. Not bad. Let me fill the battery. Nothing hot. Nice. Do we want to take it up and do sketchier things with it, or? If you want to. All right, so these are our new Monster Motors. As a matter of fact, they're available in our store. We know that a 20-inch prop will run all day long. That's what we do with our big Monster planes. The big P47 had that. But I want to see how much damage and how much abuse we can put these through. Not advising us. We may blow these motors up, but we're going to put a 6L on a 20-inch prop just to see how it does. So we're throwing in a Lumineer 8,000 milliamp 6L now. So again, we're going to take it easy on this. This is really a stress test experiment. Typically, these would be running off of 16-inch three-blade props. But I'm kind of optimistic that if we're easy on the throttle, we'll get all the performance we want, but also a heck of a good climb. She'll move now. 6L. Round two, now, 6L. if anything's going to happen, this is going to be the moment where it does. So we got Sketch Factor. We're outside the parameters. I don't know if he mentioned this, but he knows how our equipment should be used, and he's willingly going outside the limitations of our big motors. Yeah. But it's in the name of science. We're trying to figure out how, how hard they can be pushed. We're testing the resilience of cabbie and the monster motors, yep. so you don't have to. All right, you ready? All right, man. <clears throat> All right, this time we're going over the trees this way, hopefully. All right, good luck. Good luck, Cabby. Oh, uh, now it's louder, too. Ooh. Climb is significantly better. I would say so. He's Holy got cow. some climb for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now she's definitely, she's comfy at, at half throttle. Notice how much faster it is? Yeah. It is faster. And it was weird. It's so big in the sky that it looks like it's extremely slow. But I think it's actually deceivingly fast. Because yeah. it's just such a big thing that it looks slow. Now he's having no problem staying tight with me. This but I'm like 60% throttle right now. It's definitely faster. Is it? Yeah. How's that? Dude. So I'm about third throttle. Yeah. Flying awesome. around. A little bit of back pressure. I feel like I could actually do a loop now though, which is a good thing. Did I hear somebody say a loop? Yeah, should we do a loop? Yeah, I think Where's so. What's that noise? Alright, big old lazy loop coming at ya. <laughs> the motors, the motors are like, these props are way too <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to see if we can actually touch the motors after this. <laughs> Alright, so let's just do a couple quicker turns to see how maneuverable it, it looks is. looks very maneuverable. Something about the design of that plane, it's a very beautiful plane. Yeah. Should we thread the needle one last time before um, landing it? Are you doing something weird with the throttle, Josh? The one prop looks like it's doing something weird. You know what? I don't think so, but... <laughs> All right, I'm just making. <laughs> I do hear it though. Yeah, there's something going on. I wonder if one prop is spun loose. That's it, what, that's it, what it, it might look like to me in the video, at least. The one I can see clearly, and the other one I oh, can't. Oh boy! All right, we got motor out. out. He's oh, coming no. in. How's it feel with one motor? <laughs> <laughs> I knew I heard something a little fishy. Dude, we're gonna. We're Cabby, gonna... come home. <laughs> we need you. Come home. We need you in one piece. Watch out, son. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, man. Thanks, buddy. Bring All right, we had to have a little bit of drama. Yeah, you can tell it. It's, it's that one right there. Yep, right one. Yep. So we built this cabbie plane to replace our sky van, rest in peace. And we want to do more crazy projects like what we did with that sky van with cabbie. So let us know down in the comments if you have any ideas on what kind of operations you'd like to see us carry out, what you want to see us drop with this awesome plane. If you want to see our Disney planes videos, and check that out here. And as always, make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. And until next time, see you then. I just want to hug it. And we will be later.